Hi Pisces, this is your January 2021 reading with me. I thought I'd show you my decorations whilst I do my introduction. Um, so this is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is in the description box below as always. They're done within 24 to 48 hours. And of course, the free reading giveaway is always going on. So Every month I do a free reading giveaway. All the information is in the description box below. It's the most secure place where you can find exactly what I'm trying to communicate to you guys because there's a lot of impersonators these days who are like trying to comment in the comment section and they're like literally pretending to be me. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? And there's so many other tarot readers that are affected by this. So, you know, to contact me or anything like that, description box below. If you're on mobile, tap on the title of my video, it will open up the description box below. And there's also my link to my Etsy store there as well, which is Moonlight Tarot Store on Etsy. It's an intention store with beautiful items. I have to say that because, you know, I spend so much time making them. And, um, you know, um, there's beaded bracelets. So this is um, an evil eye protection bracelet. There's rings, crystals, candles, just so many beautiful items on there as well. Um, Sorry, there's no candles on there. I don't know why I keep saying candles, but um, maybe I should put some candles on there at this rate. <laughs> but um, there's so many like charms and so many amazing like spiritual items on there. So check those out. You know, there's items you can put under your pillow and your wallet or your purse. If you want to see how people have seen results with these items, check out the Etsy store reviews and uh, also international shipping is there. So yeah, check that out if you guys are interested. So let's see what's coming through with your self-care card first, Pisces. And then I'm going to do a full spread soak in a bath and actually I don't know if you see that but there's actually two that are poking out so I'm going to take both of them oh wow so you've got look at the stars and you've also got soak in a bath as well so soak in a bath especially those of you that don't have baths as well it can be just taking a nice relaxing shower um but this also is just showing like some kind of flow as well going with the flow lighting some candles perhaps, you know, getting your crystals in line um, and just relaxing is, is the big energy here that I see. Relax, take care of yourself. Um, you know, you've got some painted nails here as well. Now, if you're male or female, look, you know, do as you please, do as you please. And um, of course, you've got the uh, flowers there as well. So it's also about, you know, feeling good, taking care of yourself in a in a pampering kind of way. Then you've also got, of course, look at the stars. So this can very much so mean that um, throughout the course of January, you are sort of stargazing, you might be looking at the full moon, or you might be looking at, you know, a certain moon phase, for example. Now, the the conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn will be over at that point, but of course there can be instances where, for example, you might see Venus, or um, you might see another planet, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Look at the stars, just know that the universe is there, it's there for you. I think that that's also a beautiful sign, like you actually don't know what else is out there. I know that sounds scary, but it's a really beautiful thing that you're not truly alone in this universe. Like, that this. You know, there's, there's such a power there as well. You might even, for example, some of you might see shooting stars. So that can also happen. I've seen a lot of them as well. So hmm. that that's, that's interesting, right? It, it shows that you may see certain things in the stars or amongst the stars. Okay, so that's what we've got for you there, Pisces. Let's see what else we have for... January specifically, like happening to you, you've got the six of wands, something is, is something is coming towards you. This can be like a celebration, some form of joy, some form of happiness, people being nicer to you. you might be prone to being nice to you. You've got I'm just gonna move this a little bit more this side. Ooh, Queen of Pentacles. This is like roots as well. It's also about like tradition, growth. Um, feeling good actually about your maybe maybe you've been insecure about your culture maybe you've been insecure about who you are as a person but actually now you're really growing into it and uh, this is this is interesting especially for those of you that are from different backgrounds uh, you know ethnicities cultures etc you may have maybe grown up just feeling like oh you know I'm not, I'm not so comfortable with it but then actually when you grow to get older you just appreciate it a lot more so that's really interesting there's a lot more appreciation here for who you truly are and uh, your background as well so that's what I'm seeing there you've got the two of wands here this is about your goals and your hobbies 
really enjoying it. That's what I see there. Knight of Cups with the Emperor as well. There's a lot of there's a lot of proactive energy to get things done for yourself, so this is about working hard. It's also about communicating with people around you. The Two of Wands here shows that there's somewhere that you perhaps want to go. It could be somewhere that you have on your bucket list, it could be a trip or travelling that you really have in your mind. Um, obviously there is the pandemic, so some of you may be able to fulfil this particular thing, some of you may not be able to. Just want to say that. Um, you have got also the King of Swords as well. You've also got the Queen of Swords. So. There's definitely some kind of like romantic energy coming through here as well. Someone may propose some kind of meeting or plan. And maybe this was something you actually had on your list, believe it or not. But the Knight of Cups here also shows romantic intention and energy. Like you feel like you really want to go towards someone, but then you're thinking to yourself, no, this person needs to come to me. So then there's that, you know, it's almost like, should I go to them? Should I let them come to me? I think you should let them come to you because I, I do feel like they can come towards you here. Especially with that King and Queen of Swords, it shows that there's a real energy of them being much more proactive towards you as well. Um, and the Emperor here is that you want to kind of do things as well, right? You want to make things happen, but I feel like the energy here with the Hanged Man is telling you, let this person come to you. You don't need to overly go towards them, because the Hanged Man is also an energy of pause, rest, taking care of yourself, um, feeling good within yourself, feeling enlightened within yourself, but it can also mean them awakening a lot more. So I would say, let them come to you. Page of Pentacles. Magician is all about communication, Mercury energy, which is also, of course, Mercury also rules Virgo, which is interesting, right? So, I mean, to be honest, we've got every single sign under the roof present here. We've got earth, we've got fire, we've got water, we've got air. There isn't necessarily, I think, one that sticks out more than another. Um, yes, you have got that sort of Aries energy with the major arcanas, but I, I just feel like we've got every sign here under the roof. So sometimes a certain sign will just stick out to me and I'll just say it, but yeah, you've got a lot, of, you've, got, you've got a mix here. Okay, so you've also got the Ace of Cups. This is beautiful, right? Ace of Cups here shows a person coming towards you. Can emotionally express things to you. I feel like it's going to be when you least expect it, when you're just really confident within yourself, you're just feeling happy, content, secure. That's when they come towards you, progress things. Like, they're like, hi, hello, you're cool. You know what I mean? Like, come towards you when you least expect it. It's like just when you least expect it, right? You're in your own bubble, you're doing your own thing, you feel confident in your boundaries, you feel secure, you feel very stable within yourself and boom, they come through and you're like, huh, now? Why not when I was like suffering? Why not when I was wanting that energy? Why not when I was wanting that communication? Why didn't you come then? Why do you come now when I'm just so secure, happy? It's like when you least expect it, boom, magician. Boom, Page of Pentacles, you know, appears with some form of truth. Boom, the Ace of Cups appears with emotion. And you're like, really? Now? Now? It, it makes you think. See, Nine of Wands is about pondering, wondering, contemplating. Like, why now? Why now? Why not before? Why now? You know, you're like, you're literally, it's, it's this face, I feel, that you will make. Look at that, okay? Look at that. You're like, really? 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 Yeah, it's like... Why now? <laughs> you know, when you least expect it, that's when this person I feel opens up to you, talks to you, like is, is wanting some kind of communication. It's like when things start to really flow. And that's that's often what you see also in movies, right? Is when you're kind of just doing your own thing. You're not even focused on anything else. That's when things start to come. That's also what happens with people that are so desperate for like money and stuff is that when they're so desperate for it, that's when it like just doesn't come as much. And then when they just don't care about it and they're just like, okay, whatever, I've accepted my fate. That's when it starts. It's crazy, um, and, and that's how the universe works. So take care of yourself, do you, put yourself first, and boom, watch everything happen around you. That's all. Mic drop. <laughs> that, but that's, you know, that's really how it works with energy. It's, it's crazy, and 
that can help you in so many areas of your life. So um, Pisces, this is your reading. I really hope it helped you and gave you tons of clarity, information and knowledge and do take care. All right, and everything's in the description box below for your convenience, private paid readings, free reading giveaway, intention items as well. And um, don't forget to comment down below if this resonates. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And take care, everyone. Bye, everyone.